Yeah, my name is Chris Gurus. I uh, teach in global studies here at RMIT, uh, undergrad, postgrad, a few different courses. Um, but yeah, I just want to make a couple of points about what I do with rubrics and why I like them. Um, so I guess the first is uh, in terms of feeding forward to students, giving them advice about how to do the assignment. I find the rubric um, is really helpful to put up on a screen in class or if I'm recording something um, and to be able to say to talk the students through the rubric and say all right so these are the things you need to be doing this is what I'm looking for if you do this in this way you're going to get a score up this end of the spectrum and if you do it this way you're going to get it down this end so it kind of gives the students a kind of visual um, representation of the expectations uh, and the sort of scale that I'm working with. So that's the first thing that I find really good. The second thing is um, uh, I always make sure that the grades are in the rubric itself so um, it's all, all the cells are scored um, and so I can just for marking I just tick the boxes um, you know on each criteria and I typically you know uh, have a range of scores for each um, for each uh, sort of grade band for high distinction, distinction, and so on. Um, but I have one also that's full marks. So for HD, I tend to have two: one that's full marks, ten out of ten, and another one that's you know nine out of ten or whatever, eight point five, something like that. Um, and then similarly for fail, I have one that's kind of a narrow fail and one that's a zero where you didn't attempt anything. So yeah, and, and that works really well for me and I just kind of tick, 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 tick and then I don't have to add anything up and it's generating the scores. Um, and um, yeah, so that's made it much easier. The third thing that um, I really like is that um, I've completely moved away from typing any feedback to students now. Um, so occasionally I, I'm giving comments in the, you know, comments in the text of what they're submitting their assignment um, using, you know, high, highlighting with comments on the side and that sort of thing. Um, but only if they're, uh, you know, for very specific things. Um, I'm not actually doing that much in the text anymore. But what I am doing instead um, is just recording feedback. And so I just, uh, you know, I read it, have a think about it, and then um, and put some, um, you know, put the grades in, and then um, just hit record. I don't do video recording, but just audio, and um, and so then I just and often I'm sitting on the couch or somewhere uh, when I'm marking. I don't like sitting up at a desk for hours at a time, um, and doing that I can kind of look off into space and talk about the work that they did and what I found interesting in it and. Uh, and typically I provide a lot more feedback that way than I would if I was writing, sitting at a desk. Um, and, you know, I, you know, talk for five minutes about what they've done and, uh, and what I thought of it. And um, the students seem to, I mean, I find that the feedback I give in that way is much more positive, to be honest, um, and appreciative of the work they've done. Um, I'm not sure why that is. But um, that, um, so it's, I think it's more kind of, personable feedback and the students seem to really like it they really like to hear that I've spent time reading their work thinking about it and I'm kind of reflecting to them what I found interesting um, it's I don't know much more immediate they get a I think if they see text on comments on a page they kind of think oh, you know it's it's a little bit depersonalized so somehow you know they like that audio feedback um, and it seems to work quite well so yeah, there are three things. So feeding forward, it's good for rubrics. Um, the calculations of marks, much easier. And, uh, and the third thing is kind of moving away from text and just using the rubric for the you know criteria and then a much more kind of personable audio feedback about the whole body of work that the students have done and my impressions of it. Um, yeah, that's it from me. Enjoy using rubrics.